possum up a simmon tree, raccoon on the ground. Raccoon said to the old possum, shake him simmons down. And I said, mm, little Isaac J. Ooh, little Hi guys, I'm Keith with Ramshackle Homestead with Keith and Jen. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to start a fire with nothing but your fire lock and the accoutrements and your shot bag and your powder horn. This is part of our uh, 18th century bushcraft series. Well, hang around. Alright guys, as I was saying coming off the trail, what I'm going to show you today is a way to start a fire under the scenario that you've lost your fire starting kit. So you've got your fire lock and all the accoutrements that go along with it to get a fire started. And basically you have a high attack flint steel kit mounted right to the side of this firearm. So everybody generally carries tow with them, or I do. What I'm gonna do is take some of this tow I would use for cleaning. I'm gonna red it. A little more than what I would say for cleaning the gun, for sure. You want a nice, nice bit of fiber going. You've got your tinder bundle that you've already gathered. All right, this is the most important step. I'm going to take my horn and put a priming charge in this little nest I've built off my bigger nest. So, got about half of what it would take to prime it. Kind of pinch it up and hold it. Always cap your horn and set your horn to the side. Then, I take my rifle or my musket. Lay that black powder charge into the pan with my toe around it. Close it up just as I would to fire my firearm. There you have it. Kentucky humidity kind of got us today. It was a little harder to start than it should have been, but we got it started, and that's just another tool in your toolbox. If you enjoy this video, check us out on Ramshackle Homestead with Keith and Jen on YouTube, and check us out on Facebook also. We'd like to thank Nathan Blake Glenn for the intro music. Check him out on iTunes and on Facebook as well. Till next time.